Welcome to Rand Recaps. Today we'll be exploring the 2015 film Room, a fantastic drama and thriller. For this movie, Brie Larson received an Oscar award for best performance by an actress in a leading role. Now let's get started. Joy, a 24-year-old mother, lives in a room with her little son Jack. The room is completely isolated from the outside world, and there is only a small crack through which a little piece of the sky is visible to them. For seven years, Joy has lived and been held captive in this single room. She was kidnapped by a man who sexually abuses her. Jack, the little boy, was born in this room because of that abuse. Jack has never been out of this room in his whole life of five years. The room is a ridiculously small space, and the space is limited for them. There is a toilet and a bathtub in one corner, and a temporary kitchen in the other. Joy and Jack must sleep in a tiny bed because of the lack of space in the room. The room is locked by the kidnapper of Joy and cannot be opened without the passcodes made by the man. So Joy gave up on trying to escape because she saw it was no use. Jack and Joy have an old TV in the room, the only source of their entertainment. They call it Magic Box. The movie starts with a scene of Jack waking up and saying hi to the objects in the room. Because he only knows his mother and that man, he makes friends with the things in the room. He greets the chair, the sink, and other objects. Jack believes that the room itself is the entire world. Joy, because she wants to protect him from sorrow and disappointments, does not tell him about the outside world. Jack and Joy call the kidnapper Old Nick, who comes to Joy every night. Eventually, Joy gets used to the continuous sexual assaults and tortures. Old Nick brings food and other necessary stuff for their mere survival. Today, Jack turns five. His mother is making him a cake, and Jack is super excited about it. But later, he becomes extremely disappointed because the cake does not have the candles he sees on TV. He tells Joy to ask Old Nick to bring some candles. Joy tries to explain that Old Nick will not bring them anything that is not extremely necessary. At night before Nick comes, Joy makes Jack sleep in the cupboard so that he does not have to see the abductor torturing her. Though Jack sees through the slats, Nick hurts his mother. The incident traumatizes him. Joy loses a tooth while having breakfast the next morning. They only have a single piece of toast for breakfast. Jack wants to eat something else, but Joy keeps ignoring him because she knows that she cannot make him anything else. The next morning, Jack receives a new car toy as his birthday gift. Nick left him a gift. Jack thinks that old Nick is a magician, and he can bring stuff out of the magic box. Excited and happy, Jack plays with the car all day long. Then the mother and the son scream at the skylight. They often do this in the hope of reaching someone who can help them, but no one ever came to help. Jack mentions to his mother about his imaginary dog, Lucky, and she says that Lucky is not real. Jack becomes sad about it. Later, he discovers a mouse in the room and becomes excited to see an animal for the first time in his life. He wants to pet it, but Joy chases it away. Jack becomes more disappointed with his mother for the incident. The toaster caught fire because Joy accidentally left it on when she was making dinner. She tries her best to quickly set the fire off and wave off the burning smell, because old Nick will get angry if he finds out. But he catches the smell that night and insults her. She verbally protests, and Nick gets angrier. He is about to hit her and says that he is dismissed from his job and cannot bear the costs of providing for all three of them. Jack is witnessing the whole conversation and gets scared. He accidentally makes a little noise in the cupboard. Old Nick instantly catches the noise and wants to open the cupboard and get Jack. To distract Nick, Joy calls him to bed. Later, Jack silently comes out of the cupboard and walks around the room. He thinks that Nick is asleep and wants to have a look. However, he is awake and has been pretending to sleep. He tries to hurt Jack. Joy fights old Nick to keep him from touching Jack. He gets furious and tells her that he will kill her. Then he leaves the room. The next morning, the mother and son find the room extremely cold. They find out that the heater is turned off and understand that old Nick intentionally cut off the power to make them suffer. Joy realizes that they will not survive long like this. She is afraid that old Nick may even stop bringing food because he has lost his job. 
For the first time, she tells the story of how old Nick abducted her when she was only 17. Nick asked her to help his sick dog, and she did not realize his tricks, and she was fooled. She told him that she was a happy girl and lived with her parents before old Nick kidnapped her. She describes the hammock she had in her parents' house. Jack thinks that hammocks, people, or trees only exist in the magic box. He does not believe Joy's story. Joy keeps trying to make him believe the truth about the outside world. She shows him a fallen leaf on the skylight and tells him that there are trees outside the room. Jack protests, saying that a tree leaf is supposed to be green, and she is lying. The next day, Jack asks his mother about people and trees. Joy explains to him that they are real, and they are outside this tiny room. Finally, she is able to convince him and they plan to escape the room. Joy boils water to make it look like Jack has a fever. She also makes herself vomit and spreads it on the pillow. Jack does not like this, and he keeps telling his mom that he does not want to do it. Joy explains that this is the only way to fool old Nick and escape from the prison. At night, old Nick arrives, and Joy tells him that the cold made Jack sick. Old Nick checks Jack and believes her, because he was burning up because of the hot water. He says that he will bring medicines the next day and leaves the room. Joy's plan fails because she wants old Nick to take Jack to the hospital where he can get a chance to escape. The next day, Joy makes another escape plan. She teaches Jack to pretend to be dead. She also rolls him in a rug and tells him to run away and ask for help when old Nick takes him out. Jack gets very scared and doesn't like the plan. But Joy explains that this is the only way and it will work. When old Nick arrives, Joy keeps crying and blaming him for her son's death. She already rolled him in the rug as planned. Old Nick believes that Jack is dead and takes Jack's rug rolled body out of the room. He puts Jack's body into the back of a pickup and drives off. Jack keeps pretending to be dead and makes no sound. He can feel the truck moving from inside the rug. He unravels the rug as Joy taught him and he discovers a magical wide big blue sky for the first time in his life. He also sees trees and other things he saw on TV. When the truck slows down, Jack jumps down and a man with a dog notices him. Old Nick realizes that Jack is alive and gets in trouble. He tries to pull Jack back to the truck, but the man finds it very suspicious and tells him that he's going to call the police. Old Nick panics and he drives away quickly. Jack gets rescued by the police and tells them about his mother and gives them her tooth that he kept. He tells them about the shed they were captives in and tries to describe the shed as much as he can. After a few hours, the police rescue Joy, who is still safe. Old Nick has not gotten a chance to come back to the room yet. The mother and son reunite and they finally earn their freedom. The next morning, Jack wakes up in a hospital room. He looks outside and is surprised to see the bright, real world. Joy and Jack can finally get a real shower in the bathroom. The doctors test them and find they are healthy. And since they have never been exposed to a lot of sunlight, doctors suggest they wear sunscreen and sunglasses for Jack. Joy's parents reunite with her and celebrate the return of their long lost daughter. A crowd of reporters attacks Joy and Jack for information on their return when they come home. Though everyone sympathizes with and likes Jack, Joy's father, Robert, refuses to accept him because he is the product of Nick's sexual abuse of his daughter. He does not even talk to Jack. However, Jack has ice cream for the first time at a family dinner, and he gets brain freeze. The next morning, Joy shows Jack an old picture of her and her high school friends, and she realizes that all her friends ended up having a better life than her. Meanwhile, Jack finds it exceedingly difficult to adjust to this new world. He does not talk to people and always stays with his mother. Leo, Nancy's boyfriend, helps Jack and treats him as a son. Meanwhile, Joy fails to find happiness even though she is free now. She gets into arguments with her mother. The family lawyer visits Joy and suggests she should do a primetime interview to get money for battling the upcoming trial. Joy agrees and does the interview. But the interviewer asks her all of the triggering questions about her life in the room and that makes her have a panic attack. The interviewer says that Joy was selfish because she did not beg the abductor to leave Jack in an orphanage. Moreover, the interview leaves Joy in a worse mental state. Joy becomes ill and is taken to the hospital when Jack is left with Nancy and Leo. They treat him well 
and help him to slowly open up to people around him. Leo brings a dog home for Jack. Jack finds his imaginary dog, Lucky, in him. Nancy gives Jack a haircut because he wants to send his hair to his mother so that she finds strength. At the end of the haircut, Jack tells Nancy that he loves her, and it leaves her overwhelmed with emotions. She whispers back to him that she loves him too. The same day, Jack makes a friend with a boy from the neighborhood. It was his first ever friend. Joy returns home and watches them playing in the backyard. She smiles at them. Jack and Joy visit many places and eat different foods in many restaurants. Jack explores new things in life and is ever amazed by each new experience. Jack and Joy get a hammock, which is a dream come true for Jack. He always wanted one. While they were laying in it, Jack suddenly tells his mom that he wants to see the room one more time. Though surprised to hear this, Joy agrees. They revisit the room one more time, and Jack comments that it's become smaller. He then wishes the objects in the room goodbye before leaving. Have you ever watched this movie? If so, what did you learn from the story? Leave a comment down below, and if you'd like to watch the movie, check out the links in the description. Be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified of future videos. Thanks for watching Red Recaps, and see you in the next video.